Well, during our last review, we were focusing on two areas. First of all, we had a minor line of resistance, which is now support to contend with. And as we can see, that level has been overcome. And the next focal point, the most important one actually, was the wavy quality projection sitting slightly above. And again, that level has been overcome, albeit by a small margin. But the mere fact it has been exceeded puts us back onto a bullish foot longer term. So in regard to the wave structures, very bullish indeed on this uh, larger degree chart. So up to a wave one, down into the wave two. Generally speaking, if we see an ABC correction, then price will hit a wave equality projection and reject. And because that hasn't occurred here, and because it has been overcome, does imply that this movement high is indeed within a third leg. And generally, wave three does extend, which means it needs to travel 1.618 times length of wave one. So in other words, measuring this movement, projecting it from the subsequent low point, the low of wave two, multiplying by 1.618. And now that the wave equality projection has been overcome, the uh, next target sits above $100. So that is a high probability target area. Obviously, it's not going to head up there in a straight line rise. Remember, we are looking at the weekly time frame here. But even if we do attain that $100 region, it would only complete the larger degree wave three and offer even further upside potential over the coming year. So certainly bullish longer term. We do have some type A bearish divergence evidence on the daily time frame, obviously not shown here, which needs to unwind. And the mere fact that resistance has been overcome does suggest that we're going to come back and retest. So it wouldn't come as any great surprise to see short term weakness. And again, even here, actually, we do have some type B bearish divergence, which basically means Price has made a higher high and we've made more of a double top here. Not as potent as type A, but certainly um, when considering the bearish divergence on the daily chart makes it more significant. So possibly looking for a sideways meander or even a retest of this minor line of support, but certainly looking for a buying opportunity if we do head down over the next week or so and start to see some good demand returning at these lower levels. Every reason to jump on with the expectation eventually of attaining that $100 target. Thank <laughs> you.